And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Baltimore Orioles. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. So the Atlanta Braves are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can... So just about set now and towing the slab here, John Means and Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boo, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game and you look off, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Left-hand hitter waits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Bounce to the right. Throws to first. One up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. A lot of bat-to-ball skill in this offense, Chris. Very tough outs all over the place, and they're sporting the best team batting average in the league right now. Well, clearly they're good hitters, Boog, but I'll tell you from experience, when you're on the other side of the field, you look at these players and you just say, man, this team is lucky because you feel like your team hits balls like that and they just don't find the, the holes that they seem to find. So I think it's a combination of being really good hitters but also being lucky, and that's what this game is all oh. about. The next offering misses at a count one and two. The pitch stays alive. One out, base is empty. That That's one way through. inside. Straighten him up a little bit. Two two now. Bounce to the left side. On to over. So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. one. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might ball beat one. you. Not an easy out by any means. One and one. Two outs, base is empty. Swinging a foul straight back. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two down. Nobody on. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. One and two now on Acuna. Next Whoa, offering is outside. Down. It's a good take. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Braves. And the Braves go down quietly. And now the O's will get their first crack at it. No score. You're watching. And we're back. And starting in this one, Bryce Elder. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Hey. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Singy, that was a close play, and it looks like they're considering challenging the safe call. Really close, Boo, and tough to tell in real time. You weren't sure, so... You really can't blame them for wanting to take another look. Well, they are going to challenge the call, and so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Here's one more look. They called him safe. And the batter now, Jordan Westberg, elder, a former All-Star. He features a sinker, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. Fastball for a strike. Mullins gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swing and a ball popped up. Albies 
Settles underneath it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Got it. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. Someone who makes things happen for them in play with his legs, Jorge Mateo. Big time speed here, Boog. A guy with just terrific wheels and an absolute nightmare for opposing pitchers when he's on base. I mean, players like this who have elite speed, it's like disruptive technology on the base paths. Man, can't wait to watch him run. Fights that one away, still one and two. And the righty deals. Goes down looking. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite. They out. get the force out with room to spare, and that's the inning. And the Orioles leave one. Scoreless after one. Back here in Baltimore, here's a big power threat. Austin Riley. Austin Riley. Means back to work. That one fouled off. Riley in his sixth season batting in the cleanup spot and he was selected to the all-star game last year good oh. eye right there James Kingsley our plate umpire consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges yeah but he'll give a little bit on the edges like you said but from what I've seen he usually does that when a pitcher is just commanding those parts of the strike zone and essentially they've earned it the umpire rolls with them Swing and a ball lined out towards center. And it's caught the out. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because pitchers got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Two outs, base is empty. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Orlando Arcia. That's outside. Ball one. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in club. This one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Oh, the throw is over his head. And he'll pull into second with two gone. And it's scoring position with two away. Here's Matt Olson. Homered last night. Added another hit as well. On the ground right side. On to O'Hearn. And Olson is set down. And that is that. One left for Atlanta. We head to the bottom of the second. Now the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. And that one fouled off. Gunnar Henderson was a unanimous choice for American League Rookie of the Year in 2023. Got off to a slow start, but finished the season with 28 homers, playing as the Orioles' everyday shortstop. You know, Adley Rushman nearly won the award in 2022. The future is bright for the Orioles. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. That one's in there, and it's 0-1. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Got him looking. Now two away. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called the ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Riley makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Now in for the Braves. Jason DeLay. The lefty fires. Close, but called a ball. And it's 1-0. You know, these Braves definitely being aggressive at the plate. But I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These batters are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs. But that hasn't been the case today. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. 
Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Oh. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. Swing it a foul straight back. And he deals. Little chopper rolls foul. Nobody out. Runner at first. That one just misses. And it's two and two. Close pitch there. And he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from a bat to a bat. So the lineup flips over, and next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. To the right side. Wide throw, and it gets away. Here's Luis Guillorme, over one so far. That one to first, O'Hearn. Steps on first for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Acuna in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. Two on, two outs. And a foul ball left side. Top of the third, no score. Steps in and excellent work to corral that one. Could have been dangerous. third and into the box for Baltimore hey. Colton Kowser gets the call strike one tried to hey. hold up on the 0-2 now a look down to third yes he did that's a swing really love the pitch sequence right there I'm telling you what pitcher and catcher on the same page right now The wind of the pitch. Up the middle. On the run. Throw to first. Oh. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Clobber to right field. Way back. Gone. His second homer of this series. The Orioles strike. First, it's one nothing. That's his third straight game with a homer singing. This dude is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Westberg stands in now and watches strike one. Aye. Swings through that one out in front that no time. Ball, two strikes. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in the third and final game of the series. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Inning over. Solo homer brings in one for Baltimore. It's now a one nothing ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Austin Riley. Austin. A wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. All ones the count. Towards first, and it goes just foul. 
Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does, and you're tied up. Here's the 0-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch is outside. That one missed. Two two down. Chases that one out of the zone and one out now. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Swung on, belted. Mullins going back. Pulls it in on the rewarding track. Here's Orlando Arcia, doubled in his first A.B. And that one hammered Mullins. Going back on this one. Stretches out and holds it in. Oh, man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. And we're back, ready to go, bottom four. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. Nope, at the ball. Just missed. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Out to short. Throw on to oh. Olsen. And a quick out, number one. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Hey. Santander, that a good one down, takes a strike. In for a strike, and a count is 0-2. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swings and misses, and there's two down. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Up and in, and it's one and one. Right through there for a strike. The one, two. And they'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And the Orioles set down in order. Orioles held in check there. They lead it one. Back here in Baltimore, top five, John Chami with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Matt Olson. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. You know, these Braves, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. The pitch. And Whoa, one and two. pitch swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field balls it in and there's one away and here's the catcher Jason delay and he's already singled in this game and a foul ball delay 29 years old and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2017 and a pop-up, right side, foul territory. O'Hearn snags it for the second out. Now that out. Marcelo Zuna, next up for the Braves. Struck out swinging his first time. That one is hammered, right field, back there. Oh, just side of the wall. to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH. Ramon Urias. That's a strike. It's 0-1. And a swing and a miss there. 
Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Colton Kowser, the next to hit for the Orioles. Double play ball to second. All these. Off balance feed. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. And next for the Orioles, Jorge Mateo. It started a little too early. Strike one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Sends him down on strikes. Fastball to letters frozen for strike three. One left for the Orioles, but they hold a one nothing lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Michael Harris. In the dirt, ball one. Liner. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Giorme in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. This one high in the air to left center. Sizes this one up. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Goes the over two with a pair of strikeouts. Foul ball there. Two outs. Swing and a ball hammered left field off the wall and now the tying run is in the scoring position oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one absolutely that punished that it wasn't reason. fooled in the oh, slightest 109 off the bat I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it now a pretty big at bat coming up with the chance to even this ball game up and that chance handle throws the first in time that's the third out so back now at Oriole Park Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. And first offering is fouled off. Top of the zone for a called strike. Oh, two the count. High fly ball out to left field. Ozuna should have it. Pulls it in for the out. One down. So next to hit for Baltimore, Jordan Westberg. In there at the knees for a strike. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Inside, ball one. This is inside. And the count even one and one. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. and a miss struck him out Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter yeah he's been very frugal today economical with the pitch count and that one sliced foul lifted in the air right field Acuna makes the play and it's out number three and we're back we go to the top of the seventh. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. As the lefty gets to work. Line drive. Gets down. Base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. 
Well, he waited until the seventh, but that's the knot that'll extend his hitting streak. Singy, how much does it weigh on your mind when you're coming to the plate in the late innings with a streak going? Yeah, quite a bit, and... Westbrook to second, Out. and they get it easily at first. It's a double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Well, he waited until the seventh, but that's the knot that'll extend his hitting streak. Singy, how much does it weigh on your mind when you're coming to the plate in the late innings with a streak going? Yeah, quite a bit. And a hitter's supposed to say he's only focused on the current at bat. But, man, honestly, it's hard not to know that if you don't come up with the hit, your streak's over. So it's there, at least in the back of your mind. Two outs. That one fouled off. a one-two. That one ripped. That's back there. And it is gone. He made him pay for that one. Third home run of the season. It's 2-1. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. velocity it's so critical that you move the ball around change speeds even try to tr now, pitcher on here, here. Cole Irvin Number just trying to keep team. this one close here and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game now a chance for Marcelo Zuna Henderson over to first in time and the inning is over Braves pick up two on the long ball and this is now a 2-1 ball game you're watching Anthony Santander at the plate. The right-hander back to work. He gets to it with a slide. And that's a great play for the out. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Henderson, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. And that one fouled off. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Got him! And to away now. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little well, overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a foul ball. One, two. Rips one to right. Fair ball. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw to second is offline. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tying run and start us over here in the late innings. So the tying run at second, and another ball. Good eye in that spot. Slice the other way and foul. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3-2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3-1, he'll do it again 3-2. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. One hit, one left. Back here in Baltimore. And the center fielder, Mike. Now the center fielder, yeah. Michael Harris. The wide to kick the pitch. And well, delivers outside. Right. Urban. In his fourth year, he features a four seam fastball, a sinker, a curve, a changeup, and occasionally uses a cutter. Westberg whips it to Got first. It. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. And now it's the Braves DH, it. Luis Guillorme. Guillorme. 
And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Lifted in the air, right center field. Mullins in pursuit. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. Warning track. Oh, and you can touch them all, baseball man. A gigantic blast. His 26th of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 3-1. fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient and waited for it it was like BP all over again now no one, Austin no Riley and yeah, the first offering is not close there's a swing and a drive Mullins will be back for it out of here they go back to back and they tack one on the board. It's 4-1. That adds another game to his hitting streak, Chris. Yeah, he's been doing so many things well with the plate and clearly driving the ball with some authority as part of that. He's really dangerous with the bat in his hands right now. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it now, over. Ryan Baker gets the ball now. He's into the game with the bases at oh, yeah. Here is Ozzy Albies up to him. One for three. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. And he hits a ground ball right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. Fall off foul. At the belt and fires. Missed with a changeup. And one and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. CNL Perez is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Tate, the right hander, also getting loose. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll do it. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. Bottom of the inning. Now at the plate, Colton Kowser. First what offering else? misses badly for ball one. Elder into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. On the ground right side. Gets it to first, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Mateo up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Ball to strike. And there's a foul ball. And a one two. Got him looking for the K. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup and into the box for Baltimore. Cedric Mullins. Bounce to third. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Pulls in with a double third hit for him today. And his hot hitting continues. Well, they kept him in the yard oh, that time, but all he's doing now is passing crazy. the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Westbrook in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Mullins on its second with two down. Slider got him for strike three. And the Orioles leave one, and they... 
all set to start the ninth in this one. Leading off, Matt Olson. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hater deals. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Got him swinging. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. And just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a grounder foul for a space side. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That one back. That's not coming back. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they add to their lead. It's 5-1. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Now here oh, is man. Marcelo Zuna. And that oh, one is down. inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next pitch is outside. Late with the swing there. Ooh, body You gotta remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Three, two. Battling here as he fouls it away. One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the top of the ninth. Outside, and that is ball four. Now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Michael Harris, the next to hit. Line drive to short and caught. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. And at first, Luis Guillorme. Next up for the Braves. And ball one. Count one and oh. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Just a little too quick on that. Front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. In the dirt. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Two outs. Flares it into the outfield. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now. We head to the bottom. Here comes A.J. Minter to the mound. 
He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back. And he hits the fence. Around second is Rutschman. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. That nope. misses the zone. One and one. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tagging from Perry. The he throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 5-2. Next to hit, Gunnar Henderson. And first offering is fouled off. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. One run across in the frame so far. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Harris has a beat on it. And he makes the catch. Two away. Digging in, Ramon Urias. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. A couple of hits in a row for him here. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Ryan Mountcastle. And he would be the tie and run boot, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. Pulled down the line, this one hammered, but it's foul. The tie and run at the plate. Swung on and fouled off, and he'll need to do bad. One strike away. Good job to fight that one off. And that just misses. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. With the tying run at the plate, here in the last half of inning number nine. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, you can see this team is feeling it right now. Look at the smiles, look at the high fives. They feel real good about this three-game series sweep, and they get it done on the road. You talk about the confidence that that can produce. Tell you what, they're riding high right now. It's a nice win in this game. And your final score, 5-2. And the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line for our ball game this afternoon.